Greetings Summoners, Pathrunner here and today's video is the top 10 ways to get free crystals. Now, I'm going to start this off by telling you that I have spent money on this game and I have made bought crystals and packs and things like that simply because I wanted to and I could. Some people want to get fast food, some people want to go to the movies, some people go and do all these different things. I chose to buy crystals because I can. But that doesn't mean that the only way that you can get ahead in this game and to get good in this game is to get free crystals. Luck plays a bigger part in starting off and getting strong in this game because I've seen so many level 15s, 18s, I've seen a 9 um, that sat there and had a dragon. So I just don't even want to think about that, whatever. Uh, if I think about it too much, I will honestly have a fecal gasm and I'm not about to do that. <laughs> so. Rather than do that, I wanted to go ahead and show you 10 ways to that you can get free crystals. Now, you will notice on my list, real quick, I will not be using the Temple of Wishes as one of these options. Real simple, the Temple of Wishes, not worth it to me. If I'm lucky, maybe in a month, I'll get two shots at 15 crystals. Yay. For that, it wasn't worth it to me to go ahead and put it on here, so forget it. It's not on there. So number 10, daily missions. Seriously. Every day that you come on, you get new missions that reset, and every single day for your daily missions, you can earn 10 crystals. That's it. Flat out 10 crystals every day. So there's no reason to not do them. They're pretty easy. They're pretty standard. They'll get you 10 crystals. Do them every day. Okay? Number nine, arena rivals. Every day in the arena, you're going to have rivals. They're right here, and the further along you progress in the game, the more rivals that you'll open up to a total of 20 crystals worth of rivals. Now, those 20 crystals aren't going to be available in one day. As a matter of fact, the last two people in here, being Kellen and Kian, are going to be 48 hours apart apiece. So you're not going to be getting them every single day but still every single time you go through that round you're looking at 20 crystals plus you have people over here like greedy and greedy recharges every 12 hours or so so it's not too bad a lot of these people are available and for me i'm checking in every couple hours on the game but not only that if i sit and i see like for example i see somebody that's going to be done here inside you know well that time frame i'll just set a little alarm on my phone and I'll have it notify me just so I can go in and do that battle and then BAM I got the free crystals there. The faster I go through these the faster that the timer starts over and the more crystals that I get in any period of time so definitely keep going with that. Okay? Number eight, events. Every week Com to us seems to have an event but every couple of weeks Com to us has an event like for example we have the power stones here which uh, I hate this event. I just got to tell you, you can see how few power stones I actually have here. Um, haven't even made it, you know, to the the first um, milestone in this. And if I'm lucky, I'll get there. But you know, the last time they had this, I got a total of 16 power stones, and this isn't looking any better for me. So, but there's a lot of people who do make it. But if you did make it in this, and you got 100, and you're looking at 80 power stones, you get 100 crystals. You get a once you get 100 power stones. You're talking about 250 crystals total. And whether it's bingo, whether it's some other event, Com to us is pretty generous in the fact that they always seem to have some event going on where you can earn free crystals. I don't have any other games that I've played that, you know, are so generous with giving out the crystals without or you know whatever their premium is uh, without you spending money. So it's pretty awesome to have that. And honestly, if you look at this, that's 250 crystals right there. You know, not bad at all for just playing the game. Okay, so definitely make sure you're looking at the events tab, you're going in, checking the events, and seeing what it is that you could possibly earn mana with, whether it was a Blossom event, um, whatever it is, there's always different ways and different events for you to earn crystals, hundreds at a time. Number seven, storylines, dungeons, and arena matches. Now, you play a game, and bang, a crystal drops somewhere in there randomly. It's not a large amount. If you're lucky, you can get three to five a day. Um, I've had days where I've gotten 10, 15. It was pretty nice. It honestly felt to me like when I had lower crystals, I was getting better or more often getting crystals, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm sure that could have also just been the placebo effect because I was out of crystals. So, But just playing the storylines, the dungeons, arena matches, look, if your energy is always full whenever you log in, that's a lot of dead time, a lot of dead 
um, energy and a lot of dead arena invites that you missed out and potential crystals that you could have gotten. So for you people who continually sit on 10 invites because everybody's going to beat you, go do them anyways. Aside from getting the glory points as I talked about in an earlier video, you also have the chance for crystals to drop and they do drop. So just keep that in mind. Storylines, dungeons, arena matches will all give you crystals. The only things that aren't um, that I've actually never gotten them from and I don't think I've even gotten them in um, the SDs themselves are the secret dungeons. So you're not going to be getting crystals from the secret dungeons. If uh, I'm wrong on that, please come down uh, below, put it in a comment, tell me if you've gotten one in there and where you were, how you, how you did it and uh, how long you've been hacking. So <laughs> I, I've just never seen it. So number six, the Tower of Ascension. Every month the Tower of Ascension resets, and the Tower of Ascension is a great little resource. Besides giving you um, summoning stones, which let's be honest, I, I don't, I've never gotten anything decent but a three. I've never gotten anything but three-star monsters from summoning stones. But every five stages in the Tower of Ascension, you're talking about five crystals. Not to mention, at stage 40 and stage 80, you're looking at a total of 400 crystals between the two. So if you do the math on that and realize that every five you're going to be looking, you know, which is not every five, it's actually every ten on the five, um, you're going to be looking at that. That's an extra 50 crystals you could be making, but it's actually more than that because also remember the Tower of Ascension has two difficulty modes. It has normal mode and it has hard mode, and the payouts are the same. So if you can get up to level 40 or level 50 uh, in the Tower of Ascension in normal mode and then jump over to hard mode, you can do the same thing even if you only get up to 30 you're still gonna have an additional 30 you know crystals just from doing that alone so keep that in mind the Tower of Ascension is a great way to do it which is good because it's not really good for experience or anything else so it's just good for the prizes themselves okay number five is the crystal mine and the crystal Titan you collect every single day, you buy them. Now I get people that ask me all the time, they say, yeah, but the Crystal Titan, you have, in order to get it, you're gonna have to spend crystals. You know, you have no idea how long it's gonna take to build that up. The answer is 90 days. And 90 days with, with the Crystal Golem, you are breaking even, okay? Or Crystal Titan, excuse me. You are breaking even. So at 90 days, as long as you were, you were consistent on it, every day from day 91, so if you've been playing for more than three months and you would've bought one at the beginning, you would today, be on your first day of actual profit for your initial investment it's not a lot of crystals but again it adds up and that's your choice so just make sure that you're collecting on a daily basis and you're collecting on a regular basis because they do have max caps and once they cap just like your mana that you can get you know from the different things that give you mana it's once it stops it's going to stop and it's not going to start the timer from where it left off it's just gonna start the timer over so make sure that you're getting those every single day next is the monthly daily event at midnight PST every single day um, when within a month as long as you log in you're getting you know a few mana here and there all going for whatever the end of the month you know monster is um, and, but in those you'll see that once a week you're also able to get crystals and so log in and make sure you're getting that because at the end of that time you will sit and you'll have accumulated yourself some extra free crystals. So it's not bad considering it's just you showing up. Okay? Number three, arena rankings. Okay, I can't emphasize this enough and I think it's so often underutilized, but every single week that you fight in the arena, the arena tallies up your score and based on your score, you're going to get a different weekly reward. As long as you played it at all, the minimum you're going to get is five crystals. If you get 900 points, you're going to get 10, 1,000, uh, 20, and it goes all the way up to, if you are the legend, if you are number one in the rankings, you will get 750 crystals every week. Not a bad payoff. So whoever's got number one is literally going to be sitting there and looking at the game and playing the game and able to have 750 crystals every single week but the higher you get in arena the more that you're more crystals that you're going to get and the more that you're you're going to be getting for free so it's not bad and that brings me to number two number two level up and get stronger 
So many times I see players that'll stay a level 20, level 30, or whatever for a length of time and not really playing the game. But you need to power up your mons. When you are first playing this game and when you get up to level 40, you should be broke around every corner. You should literally have no mana because you've been taking and powering up every rune that you can. You've been taking your mons and you should have no energy. You should be taking those mons into every single storyline that you can, the highest one possible, so that you are sitting there and burning as much energy as you can to get your level up to 40 so that you have more energy so that you can literally spend more time grinding and getting your mons as strong as possible because when you get those mons stronger than possible or stronger than they are, that's when you're going to get higher in the Tower of Ascension. That's when you're going to get higher in your arena rankings. That's when you're going to be able to do more and have more more things that you're doing that'll get you stronger in events, increase your odds in events for getting the, you know, the special crystal packs and those and everything that we talked about before. So make sure you're leveling up and getting stronger and constantly improving on yourself. All right? And number one, the number one way of the top 10 ways to get free crystals is achievements. I have no idea why so many people ignore this, but achievements literally has, right here in the missions tab, the achievements literally has thousands of crystals worth of achievements in it. And that's everything from beating you know, a certain level on for the first time, a certain area or a certain area for the first time, a certain area in hard mode, a certain area in hell mode, a certain area five times. All of those are worth crystals. Beating, you know, the different temples and getting to level ten and beating those all give you crystals. Every element. So if you can beat the level ten um, wind dungeon you know, or wind temple, you're going to get a hundred crystals. Now that may not seem like okay. You know, it's something that's doable in your future, but here's what you need to look at, and I want you to understand this. At level 35, with my only 6-star Mon really being my Amon, I broke most of those temples. And the way I did that was I used crystals to revive my team. You can spend up to, I think, 50 crystals to revive your team. I spent, I think, at most 30. So I did get my, my Amon strong enough that I could do that. But if I put 30 crystals in to get 100 crystals out, I had a 70 crystal profit. Now, you don't have to do that. I chose to do that because I was taking that 70 crystal profit and putting it towards the other things that I needed in this game. So it was a better investment for me because whenever I put in 30, if I pull out 70, I'm profiting. And yes, you only do it once, but still, I needed those crystals at that time, so I'm happy that I did that. But look at the different achievements that are there. Every single area, there's basically a ways for you to make, you know, 100 crystals per area. That's That adds up when you're doing, doing the dungeons and the temples. It adds up. So definitely go through the achievements and do everything you can. If you feel like I missed anything, please let me know in the comments down below. If uh, the daily missions or the the wish, the te wish uh, temple of wishes has been absolutely phenomenal for you, and every week you're getting 150 crystals, and you want everybody and their mother to be jealous, please leave a comment down below so people can hate you because that's what's going to happen. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting up more videos, not just on Summoner's War, but different games. But I will definitely be keep them going as long as I keep seeing it growing. So thanks a lot, and may all your class be low and all your summons be high.